In general, people who are less economically privileged are less likely to have their mental health problems diagnosed or treated. Less likely to have them diagnosed because the basis for diagnosing depression is often that you feel really terrible despite having quite a pleasant life. And if you have a very actively unpleasant life and you feel terrible all the time, you're unlikely to recognize that the way you feel may be the result of or a symptom of mental illness and instead you'll think it's merely commensurate with your circumstances. But even for poorer people who are able um, to get a diagnosis, the lack of access to mental health care remains shocking in the United States. There was a Mental Health Parity Act that went through some years ago. It's full of loopholes. It's a sort of Swiss cheese of an act. And people who don't have decent health insurance and who don't have access to um, uh, so-called higher quality doctors in teaching hospitals and so on are likely in most instances to go untreated. They can call hotline some of the time. They can sort of patch together little bits of response, but they aren't going to get the kind of steady focused treatment that might allow them to come away from their their mental illness and to emerge better able to contend with the very real challenges they face in the world.